Bleach, the first of the big three to fall from grace, but also the first to make a comeback and prove why it belongs in the big three in the first place. Now, I have not been a fan of Bleach for that long, so I didn't have quite the emotional connection to it that many other fans did. But still, I was interested when the first anime episode of the new series came out, and what I saw in the first episode was just stark raving crazy. It's a very different anime than One Piece, which is honestly the only anime I'm actually watching at this time, other than Yu Yu Hakusho once a week with a friend. But still, it is a very different feel, tone, everything when compared to the One Piece anime. And that actually makes it probably better than One Piece in that regard. Anyways, when Glass is Quincy Guy, I'm sorry, I have bred Bleach through twice, and I cannot remember his name to save my life, and if I could, I can't pronounce it. I've tried multiple times, there's like a U and a Y in there, and I'm like, sorry, not gonna try. Uryu Ishida. Orai Yu Ishida. I'm pretty sure Ishida is the right one. Uryu Ishida. Yu Ryu Ishida. Okay, Glasses Quincy Guy it is. Anyways, when the Glasses Quincy Guy, whose name I can't pronounce, attacks these hollows, which hollows are spirit monsters who eat souls, he annihilates a whole group of them with his Licked Regan. 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 I have it written down here, but I don't even know if I wrote it down right. To be fair, while I am part German, I don't claim their extensive skill in enunciation of German words. But this attack, when translated to English, means Reign of Light. And he actually almost hit Ichigo. I think it was an accident. It could be intentional, like a playful rivalry kind of thing, considering their history. It's not like it would do anything to Ichigo, even if it did hit him. But either way, Ichigo dodged it quite easily. If we assume this beam was light, and thus it has the properties of light, then Ichigo dodged a laser beam in his base form. To get more specific, let's get some pixel measurements going on here. So the distance between the tip of the laser and where it ends up hitting the ground is approximately 409 pixels. Whereas the distance Ichigo's head moves is 164 pixels. And because they move this distance in the same time, one frame, we can find that Ichigo must have been moving at over 350,000 times the speed of sound, or 40% the speed of light. Now, like I briefly mentioned just a few seconds ago, this was when Ichigo was in his Shikai form, or his base form. And because his Bankai, and I think every Bankai in the series, is implied to give a multiplier of 5 to 10, Ichigo at his very strongest could be 4 times the speed of light. However, I am aware that this is very early on in this arc, and there are other lasers that he has dodged further down the line. So by no means is this the only light speed feat that, you know, we're probably going to get, or, you know, that he's actually had in the past. So don't kill me in the comments, please. That's a very rude thing to do. But, you know, I'm looking forward to the next 51 episodes more. Is episode 2 out already? I saw some people saying episode 2 is out already. I should probably check on that. But I'm looking forward to the rest of the 50 or so episodes. So, until I find something I, I want to calculate, see you next time. Remember to stay spectacular, Jojo.